Hello YouTube, Redrick Master, and today I'm gonna to be showing you my custom phase two shock trooper. This is the original um this is the original armor that they used for that Lego used for the clone troopers. Instead of the helmet printing on the visors, they used cutouts. See? So I can take off his helmet and stick a toothpick through it. And you'd wonder how. I would stick a toothpick through it if I could, but it's not going anywhere. I don't quite like this armor because you can hardly turn the helmets. That's why I really don't. Anyway, this guy was loads of fun to make because I really wanted to make Shock Trooper for a while. And I never really got a chance to, but I got bought this guy at the Lego store a while back. I didn't do anything with him. I kind of forgot about him, but I was looking around my room trying to find any clones I got. I found this guy. I didn't know how I could use him. Todd so checked out Noah Artist's video on custom shock trooper. Even though he gave, him, even though he made his shock trooper custom, I actually made mine look like a shock trooper, like the one from the character Star Wars character encyclopedia. You can probably get. Anyway, this. Yep. Uh, this guy has a simple DC-15 blaster. I gave a tutorial on this a while back. Please check that out if you like it. If you don't like it, please check it out anyway. Because I don't have any friends. I'm kidding. Anyway. Um. Let's see. The, the top, the, um. Fin thing, the FN2187. I'm kidding. No, the fin up there, it it just had a little print right there. Then I so I painted the whole thing red, including the sides. Guess it like just like kind of wanted to. Now I just accurate to the look. The shoulder pads made of metal. Made of metal, right? Male shoulder pads, gauntlets, elbow pads, knee pads, whatever the, whatever the thing, whatever the heck that thing is called. I probably shouldn't say that. But yeah, that's the only male in this figure, because unlike, unlike Noble Aris, I don't put armor all over the arms and everywhere. I just do the shoulder pads and elbow pads and gauntlet, and I think that just does the same thing uh, the armor. I think that's what he used to do except he didn't do elbow pads. Anyway. I bent the knee pads. I forgot to mention that on the um, 212th Attack Battalion clone that I bent the knee pads. Cause I kind of like that idea. It makes it pop out a bit more. I don't know why I didn't do that a while back. But anyway, it works very well. He already has the printed on detail with the lines going down everywhere. There's a little bullet hole thing. Not detail there. I added on, I put more paint in the cheek on the things and cover that up. I repainted that, the chest section. I'm going to back a bit if I can't. I'm, I'm, I can't. Anyway, I, re, I don't know if you could tell, but I repainted the chest. Add on the um, credit card material for the pouches. Um, nothing on the back. I would. I oh, I repainted that and added a bit onto the sides. I would have made it wrap around all the way, but I didn't quite want to, so I didn't. Anyway, um, to the red lines there and there to kind of show his course on deck. I can't say it. Designation. Yes, that's it. Can't speak. Um, paint the by painting the bottom part, of the bottom half of the legs black. I mean, not black. Sorry, red. Paint them red. Going all the way around, even on the inside. You might not be able to tell, but just paint on the inside. It'd be probably easier to see down the inside right there. Sorry, when I'm doing this, I'm not looking at the camera that much. Just, I don't know if this thing. 
Yeah. I think there's more life. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. I forgot to have my lights on the sides. Dang it, that's what's causing me. Sorry. Shouldn't say that. Bitney pads. I gave to her on this. I did lines. I side wrapping around. Did lots of battle damage according to the picture I had. Kind of add silver paint. Well, scratched it off the red a bit. Um, yeah, add on a bit of gray. I did the gray in the back to show a bit of being worn and damaged a bit. Yeah. I think that's going to finish up this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And if I can get 10 subscribers, I'll give a tutorial on the longbow that I did for my archer for the contest. So, if you want, if you want to know how I made the bow, you just need ten subs. Not much. No, and I'm gonna be to, to, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial soon on how I did the spear for my crusader. I it kind of broke though. It, it broke because it fell, accident fell off its hands. I can't explain how it broke, but it fell and it broke. And it's not too complicated. I can do. I can do it. I'm probably going to do that next. Oh well. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Farewell and God bless.